Japan doesn't always mean second rate, including with pre loved mobiles. Now you can save hundreds on a big brand handset that's checked and tested and even has a warranty. There was a need for better value. The humble supermarkets, once a place to buy bread and milk, now fancy a dirt cheap smartphone with your weekly shop. It's affordable, it's accessible, it has warranty. You can have a good quality handset that's only two years old, for example, at a far reduced price than buying it brand new. Old is now new for Australian consumers with refurbished phones becoming a booming trade. A refurbished smartphone is one that somebody has owned before. It's been traded in. The refurbished phone has gone through all those checks. And I know from a Boost Mobile point of view, there's a clear 72 point check that makes sure these phones are cleaned, they're wiped, they're police checked. Following a much hyped promotional offer, within days, Coles sold out of iPhone 7s refurbished by Boost, priced at just $259. Compare that to the latest iPhone 12, which starts at 1200 bucks, all the way up to 1800 Sure, some people are going to want to spend $1,500, $2,000 and get the latest phone. But the technology advancement hasn't been that dramatic over the last few years. So really, it comes down to what do you need and the affordability and how much you're willing to spend. General Manager at Boost Mobile, Jason Haynes, says refurbished devices are perfect for teens and seniors. You know, I've got four children and even my children are you know, 13 and 14 years old. I bought them refurbished phones. I have no doubt they're going to drop them at some point. Tech expert Charlie Brown. Well, anyone who's looking for a near new handset that is still in good condition that also comes with a warranty because the companies who are selling these kinds of products aren't just giving them to you, they are selling them to you and providing surety. Well, through Boost Mobile, we've got all sorts of smartphones. We go from iPhone 7 all the way up to iPhone 10. Eventually, we'll have iPhone 11s coming in. Obviously, it keeps on progressing as people hand out their, their um, latest phones. And it's not just Apple, from Samsung to Google and everything in between. If you do want to buy new but can't afford to remortgage your home, consider budget smartphones. The smartphone mid-market is booming. TCL's latest offering will set you back $449, while Alcatel 1SE might not have all the bells and whistles, but you'll get the job done at $199. They've still got a lot of features in them. They'll do the bulk of what you want them to do, but the camera isn't quite as crisp, and the extent of the features that the phone provides isn't quite as long. And that's not the only way you can save. We've seen a bit of a pivot towards people wanting to buy their device out right now. Alex Choros is managing editor at Comparison Size Whistle Out. If you buy your phone outright, you can then take it to whatever carrier you want. So instead of being stuck with Telstra, Optus or Vodafone, you can go to a provider like Moose Mobile, TPG, Boost, Belong. And these smaller providers often have better deals. There's more on that story on our website.